Yo, what is up, Raider Nation? What is up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mr. Raider Kid here. And if you haven't already, I threw out a video last night. Um, a little late. I know the game ended up. It was on Friday. I threw this out last night, uh, Monday night. But uh, it's been something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. Uh, I just haven't figured out a, a right way to do it. I'll get more into that in a second. What is good? Let's start with the fit real quick. Um, I got on uh, actually a brand new jersey as you can see still has the tag on it I have not yet and I usually I wouldn't want to throw on a new jersey But you see the number and it's cuz he's back Donald Penn returned to practice today. He is back. He also Reconstructed his contract to take a small pay cut. He's back. So real quick just kind of uh, Show y'all what that looks like big pen in the back, baby um, very crisp, very clean, nice. It's all stitched. Like again, you know where I get my jerseys, man. Not bad. The only, the only downfall I'd say that I uh, about this jersey here is I don't like the neck collar, and I don't like the fly wire. I don't think the Raider jerseys are supposed to have this fly wire like everyone else, and it's yellow. I don't like that. So it already kind of makes the jersey look whack. But um, it's not terrible. Uh, definitely something I'll probably rock in the near future. Uh, and then this hat here is one of my least favorites. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, when I bought this, I thought this metal piece, or I thought this was like a metal piece, like an emblem, but it's actually just like a, uh, I don't know what you'd call it. This is, uh, it's rubber. And it, it see that like rainbow glow it gives. I don't care for that rainbow glow, so I don't wear this hat very often. It's got a sick concept though. I, I like the like idea. It was there. I actually have a hat just like this, the way I wanted it, and I'll, I'll wear that sometime soon, so you can see the difference. But yeah, not uh, it's not terrible. I have it though. I'm not gonna get rid of it, obviously. So, like I said, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Oh, I hope you guys liked my video I put out. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's my previous video. I'll try to put it down in the link below subscribe hit the notification bell um so that you know when i put out a video that just helps out um but i kind of wanted to do the espn style commentary highlights i grew up watching chris berman on the sunday blitz and every sunday night if the raiders won that's one thing that i wanted to do before i went to bed was fucking watch chris berman uh, you know, do his do his eight to ten minute long highlights with the ESPN music in the background. That was everything to me, um, and they, I feel like that's gone. Uh, I don't feel like ESPN, even NFL Network, like uh, they don't do a great job of that anymore. And uh, I've uh, I've always wanted to do like commentary, and that's why I'm making videos always wanted to get my voice across or just use my voice in that platform and um, that right there kind of just a little example of kind of uh, what I'd like to do and maybe some of my strengths now be, pff, man I screwed up a lot and I'll be honest it was really hard to do that all in one take I tried to cut up the video up um, so one I wouldn't get copyrighted <laughs> try to cut that thing up so it's not so reckon uh, but I've seen other YouTubers or other, at least other channels have the same exact video up there. So, I mean, uh, uh, I, I know it got copyright claimed right away, but I don't think they're taking it down. I think it's still up. I haven't checked, honestly, all morning, actually. Uh, it's about, actually, damn, it's already 1 o'clock. Uh, I haven't checked all day, though, to see how the video is doing or to see if it was taken down yet. I know it got copyright claimed, so they're probably going to make money off of whatever views I get, which, whatever, fuck them. But... I mean, uh, at the end of the day, I kind of just want to do this for myself and see if I'm good at it, you know, and just get you guys' feedback and have some fun with it. I'd like to do more games, more NFL teams, or maybe some of, like, top five games of the week and do it. Uh, the video may be very long, um, uh, but uh, if that's something you guys might be cool with... Uh, Leave it down in the comment below. Maybe we'll get that we'll get that going. But yeah, if you haven't seen that video, go watch it. Give me some feedback. Let me know how you think about it. Um, I had a lot of fun. At the same time, try to chop that up as fast as I could because it was getting late last night. But the Raiders, man. The Raiders. Let's talk about the game real quick. I don't want to make this video too long. Back-to-back -back videos in two days. I don't want to bore you guys. But uh, Friday night was good, man. You know that um, uh, that Marshawn Lynch touchdown? Marshawn Lynch's legs. Man, look, he looks like he's a lot better shape. If you take that run and the run against the Giants and put them side by side, I think you're going to see Lynch outrunning himself um, by a few feet or so, uh, which is a big difference maker. Uh, unfortunately, he got called back. You know, it was really exciting, though. 
Uh, the offense after that really didn't do much first string. Um, Carr had that really wobbly ball that got batted down by Jordy Nelson, saved a pick, and then he had that deep pass to Martavis Bryant that just didn't connect. So nothing spectacular, nothing flashy. Connor Cook, though, I thought he had a great game. I thought he was poised. He had a great uh, great time in the pocket. The offensive line was holding their own, and he made the right reads and made some really good throws too. Uh, so I was really pleased with Connor Cook. Um, uh, everyone, that's the thing about the Raider Nation, man. And I, I know some of you are like this, and I know some of you are going to know what I'm talking about. But uh, especially in the preseason. Remember last year when the kid, George Atkinson the third went off against the Arizona Cardinals? What happened a couple weeks later, two weeks, a week later? He got cut. Uh, and I understand this Chris Warren kid, he did really well. He, he looked good. Um, but everyone's like, oh, I want Chris Warren. Cut Jalen Richard. Cut Washington. Cut Doug Martin. Um, don't be sold on the kid. Like you got to think of it as a football standpoint. Um the chances of him making the team, he's going to have to repeat that game if he's still with us on Saturday against the Rams. Um, and to even ha for him to have a shot to make the football team. Because I don't know how many running backs we're going to run with this season. But I tell you, Jalen Rashard looked great catching balls uh, from the running back standpoint. DeAndre Washington was running very well. I did not see shit from Doug Martin. And uh, uh, Marshawn Lynch, of course, you know, he looked great. Even on that one big run, that's all we needed to see. <laughs> now I'm good. You can you can just rest the rest of the preseason. I'm ready for the regular season for Marshawn. But um, Chris Warren, he looked good. He played good. But I, I you know I'm not sold yet. I'm not 100% saying like he's gonna make the team. I think he's easily one person that could get cut. Uh, defensively, Nick Nelson had, thought, had a good game. Antonio Hamilton was breaking up some passes. Carl Joseph was back there. Um, uh, I think our linebackers. I'm still really scared about. Uh, you know, with only you have Marco Lee and Derek Johnson at middle linebacker, and then you have Tahir Whitehead, who uh, I'm excited to see play, but you got that weak side that's just uh, not suitable. You, who's playing that position right now? Is it Nicholas Morrow? Is it is it Lumar? Is it Kyle Wilbur? These guys are uh, you know bottom tier linebackers. They're like a C D plus players. We need we need to get a B plus in there soon. Um, uh, like I said, Donald Penn is back, so that's good. He was doing some work at right tackle today at practice, so that means he's either going to have to earn his left tackle spot again or they're going to just throw him at right tackle because they feel confident with the rookie at left. I don't know how I feel about the rookie at left. That's Carr's blind side. We don't need Carr getting hurt because the rookie got beat nasty-like. So uh, some things to watch out for with that. But overall, on Friday, I thought the game was fun. Uh, it was great to watch the preseason, you know, being back preseason or not, man. Football is just it's just a whole different kind of entertainment uh, from other sports and uh, greatly, greatly happy that it's back. Uh, but I kind of wanted to talk about those things. P.J. Hall, cannot forget P.J. Hall, man. And uh, Arden Key also came back, and Garyon Conley came back yesterday in practice, so we should see them Saturday. I'm really excited for that. I know I talked about P.J. Hall being the guy I wanted to watch for that Friday night, and sure enough, the first defensive drive, he gets the sack on third and five. So it was really dope. Now I'm looking forward to seeing Arden Key and seeing some more pieces of the secondary come together, man, because I think the secondary is not going to be terrible. I think the linebackers could be terrible, and that's something we got to fix before week one against the Rams. When we play the Rams on Saturday, um, I may or may not put out a video on that, uh, since we got back-to-back -back videos this week, uh, we'll see. But I'll definitely try to get a post-game one out on Sunday. I'll try to do the recap or the the uh, let's call it highlights. All my Raiders highlights on Sunday. Uh, have that have that out before the night ends and kind of just give you a, a different rundown. Uh, if you if you miss that old ESPN style type stuff, you know, well this is where you come, Mr. Raider Kid, right here. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, Saturday, what you're looking for, and Friday night, your biggest winners and losers. Uh, Eddie Pinero looked nice, three for three, kicking off the dirt, 48 yards. I hope this kid can be that replacement from Seabass, man. Donald Penn, welcome back, Raider Nation. Let me hear your voices. Home game this weekend. Home game. I know you're watching. Um, I can't wait to see all the silver and black out there at the Coliseum for the first time in who knows how long. Um. This will actually be my first time at the Coliseum for a football event. I've been around it, been outside it 
I think I've been in and out. I don't know if my dad took me when I was young and I don't remember, but I know my dad's been a lot. Uh, so this is going to be historic. This is going to be awesome. I can't wait to uh, drive 30 minutes and go watch the Raiders wearing that, that silver, that silver and black. Uh, so if you see me, stop me. Uh, if you don't, then, um, Hit me up on Twitter, Mr. Rated Kid 21 and 24. I got two accounts, so you can hit me up there, man. Can't wait Saturday. Hopefully, it's a good game. Hopefully, it, uh, you know, not nobody, none of the little cholitos trying to be stupid out there in the Los Angeles. Uh, I know Ram fans could possibly get very salty this weekend with the number of Raider fans there. And Raider fans are, you know, we're gonna be salty that it's not us that we're gonna be able to do this every year. So. Hopefully we can come meet in the middle here and just say fuck the Chargers, right? At the end of the day. Well, that's my time. I'm Mr. Raider Kid. I'll catch y'all later this week. Leave your comments down below. Share to your your Raider friends. And sh uh, shout out Raider Mikey uh, if he ends up watching this, bro. Uh, we need to do a video very soon. All right, guys. That's it. See you later.